Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Biscuit. How's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody is having a good day wherever you are. So today's video is going to be um, a little info about the jelly pedicures that I offer to my clients. Um, most, I would say, I shouldn't even say most, I should say all my clients get a jelly pedicure. Um, but the jelly pedicure does include a regular pedicure at that. So um, but for the sake of this video, it's just basically how I am adding the um, the solution to the water um, to get started on my jelly pedicures. Normally, I let my clients sit and soak and enjoy the jelly pedicure for about 10 minutes. Hence, which is why this video is 10 minutes long, because I'm actually letting this run um, live, meaning I'm not speeding it up. I'm not slowing it down. I'm actually letting you watch the client soak. Um, me and her, of course, are chit-chatting the same time. So we're talking and I'm just having her to start moving her feet um, just so that way the solution can start to um, get jelly, which is why they call it a jelly pedicure. And um, I'm just letting her get the texture together first, um, which will create the jelliness of the pedicure. Um, but just in case you guys are wondering where I normally get my uh, jelly spa bath pedicure kits um, I normally get them from my local nail supply store where I live at but I'm sure you could google um, jelly pedicures um, the jello pet, uh, pedicures like the little kit that I have and I'm sure you can find them um, you'll just have to order them offline um, like I said I normally just travel down to my local nail supply store and grab them but they have different um different scents different um colors for the water my particular client in this case wanted the milk and honey um so we did that and like i said it comes in a two-step um process so step one of course um is the um bath step one which will turn the um, water into jelly and what I'm having my do, having my client to do is move her feet. As you can see, the water is changing into a jelly substance. Um, so she's just gonna keep moving her feet. She doesn't mind doing this, um, and it's not really like a workout or anything like that. But um, she just moves her feet back and forth. She says it feels very good in between her toes on her feet. And mind you, this pedicure bowl that I have also has like um, raised uh, bumps in the bottom of the bowl so not only that she is massaging her feet she's moving her feet to uh, get the jelliness um, feels kind of slimy a little bit but it feels good at the same time so basically instructions for you to do this actually come on the back um, but of course you need to fill up your um, foot soak foot bath with water I normally use warm to hot water um, now everybody is a little different when it comes to warm and hot water of course but i try to get mine a little on the hotter side just because obviously i don't have any uh i don't have any water source that could keep my um water warm so i normally keep it more on the hot side because once it comes out obviously it's gonna um get a little cool due to the air but i do that and then i go ahead and sprinkle in the step one and then my client is moving her feet back and forth and as you can see right now she's at the jelly stage so i told her she could stop moving her feet um but she chose to keep moving her feet because she was like oh my gosh this feels so good i was like that's perfectly fine um so now i just kind of let my client enjoy the jelliness of the water which um she is really really enjoying it which nothing is wrong with that um and so she's just gonna be soaking her feet enjoying it like i said i normally let my clients sit there for about 10 minutes we're normally talking they're either on facebook instagram snapchat twitter they're on everything so i give them that time to relax because obviously that's what you come to get a pedicure for is to have your feet done a little bit of you time to chit chat catch up things like that so um i'm gonna probably speed it up 
now just so that way you guys have had a chance to see the jelly form but it does feel really 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 good and when you are ready to um, get rid of the jelly you just have to add in your step number two and then it will go back to water I know right how fun is that um, I do have another video on that showing that the water will go back I'm sorry that the jelly will go back to being water um, right here you see me talking with my client she's trying to figure out um, what color she wants on her toes she was actually going to a wedding so she said she wanted something neutral um, so we ended up choosing a brown color which is super 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 pretty um, so you guys have probably saw that on my Instagram if you haven't please head over to my Instagram at I am biscuit 7 make sure you follow me and also, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications on so that way you never miss a video. Make sure you share these videos wherever you have social media at. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting me to um, 5,000 plus subscribers. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. I appreciate you. Thanks for all the love and support. Um, so yeah, other than that, I will let you guys keep watching. Um, the jelly pedicure video I do have the rest of the pedicure video coming up soon and shortly so make sure you stay tuned for that if you guys have any questions please leave them down below as always I do read the comments I do respond and I will answer them for you um, other than that thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll hit you in the next one bye